It is with uh, considerable pleasure uh, that I'm able to welcome these two fine athletes uh, to our building and announce that they have both committed to stay and play their rugby here until uh, 2019. So the first two guys to commit for a further four years. Um, we're just talking about that uh, out the back there. In my time, I think we've had a couple of really important announcements to make around player retention. One, in fact, two of them were Dan and, and Richie. Uh, more recently, uh, Kieran Reid and, and Sam Whitelock. And we've been able to hang a lot of uh, our strategy and our, our player retention uh, efforts off really important signings. And I would put uh, the news today in the same category. Uh, two of our finest um, players, young players, huge uh, futures in front of them. And today's, uh, I think, a really important announcement uh, for New Zealand rugby for the Chiefs and for the Hurricanes. So great news and I'd just like to personally thank both these guys for their commitment to New Zealand rugby and a man that often doesn't get thanked but he's sitting over there, uh, Warren Elcock, who's uh, done the deal for us. So happy to answer any questions and then the guys are happy to do the same. How much pressure has been on you to get the players signed? It's been much of the promoter's season. Oh, yeah, it's clearly... Um, <laughs> Not news that uh, there's a lot of pressure on our talent, um, that's, then it's not new either, but it is, it is rammed up of late. Um, our guys, you know, uh, Chris and Ben, who are also standing over there pretty happy today, have been under a, a lot of pressure to keep talking to a lot of our players, and that work continues. They'll go back <laughs> to their desks straight away, and, and there'll be some more decisions to be made. Do these deals include sabbatical We haven't built any long-term um, leave provisions in either of these two deals. These guys both want to stay here and play for their, for their fr franchise teams, for their Super Rugby sides, uh, and obviously be available for the All Blacks. And if things go according to form and, and fitness and, and selection, they'll play in two more World Cups, which is, I think, outstanding news. We have, though, committed to make sure we look after the, the well-being of our guys, all of them, and so there'll be some sensible managing of workloads, but it does not include a, a period of short playing, no. Well, that's a decision for Julian to make. Uh, we're still working our way uh, through that. Uh, we've got a number of players that are, are weighing up their options. That's definitely still uh, a, a live conversation. I know, I know one coach that would dearly like him to play sevens and probably another one that's not quite so keen. So he's got some decisions to make. I'm very delighted uh, you know, to get it all signed off and uh, looking for, uh, forward to uh, you know, staying here for four years and uh, playing for the black jersey, the yellow one, and for my province as well. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I've always loved sevens. I've played sevens growing up as a kid, so, I mean, uh, to me, it wouldn't be hard to transition to sevens. I, I know how I know how the game works. Um, so, you know, like I said, we'll see how it goes and you know, hopefully it uh, gets all sorted soon. There's always temptation, you know, I'm not, not going to lie, but, you know, the black jersey means a lot to me. Um, you know, in this process, you know, I said to Warren, you know, I want to play in this black jersey for as long as I can. And uh, you know that's, that was really important for me. So.